People are pissed. I'm pissed. Sabrina Carpenter has betrayed Taylor Swift. Hello, welcome to the TMZ Swift Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Melanie Miller, and today we have joining us a super fan of Taylor Swift, confirmed because he got to go to I'll Hate You Forever, the the Eras Tour premiere. Grayson yes. Beeman. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm super excited. Thank you for being here today. Yeah. Uh so breaking news. We have a ton of breaking news to get to. Number one, people are pissed. I'm pissed. Sabrina Carpenter has betrayed Taylor Swift in the ultimate way, in a way that I don't know if she can come back from. She is the next Skims model. Yeah, I mean, I add what she's the next face of Skims for the. I think it's a spring collection or it's a new collection. It's the sexy collection. Yeah, basically. yeah. Well, I mean, she does have the nonsense outro, so that it fits with that. Have you ever heard her outros? The, yeah. The, yeah. All, of course, I'm a yeah, big Sabrina. Right. I w- was a big Sabrina Carpenter fan. This this was very hard for me because Sabrina looked. She's posing for in lingerie for this mm-hmm. new Skims collection, and she looked so hot when I saw the photos. Yeah. Like I, I it. I, it took me a second to recognize what was going on. I was like, damn, she looks good. And then I was like, holy shit, she's in skims. Yeah, which, I mean, I personally, this may be extremely controversial. I am happy for her. I think that she should be doing that. Like, I'm excited for her. She's getting those brains. Why? I don't think it's a betrayal because you Why? look at this. Lana did it and Taylor's still friends with Lana. She brought her up at the Grammys. Brittany did she, it. But also Selena. Selena posted about it. Selena Gomez posted about Yeah, skims? she posted about that she was in Skims. She did delete what? It. She deleted it like after, but also Selena deletes things all the time. She says she's going to be off Instagram. She comes back. So, I mean, all of her friends, majority of her friends have, have done things for Skim. I don't think that Taylor would see this as betrayal because I think that she is more... Women supporting women, and that's what Sabrina's she's doing. She's not people supporting Kim. I think she's more, I think the beef she's, is more. The beef is not done. I don't it's know. I gone. feel like if she had an issue, she would have said, I don't, she, I feel like she would have come out with it or something like that. You know? Here's my thing. This is, I'll give Sabrina a pass. Mm-hmm. If she said, hey, Taylor, I got an offer for Skims. Sure. Are you okay with this or should I pass? But also, that's the one thing, too. We don't know when she shot this. This could have been before she was even offered. It that, just seems you know? weird that she made her post about mm. Taylor Swift on tour. And, like, I'm so sad. This is the end of my run for the Air yeah. Tour opening act. And then it, it, and then literally the week, a, week later, bam. It, it, timing is a little fishy. But also, if you think about it, too, Sabrina's at Coachella, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, so I think it's also more kind of risky, like to put it out there. People are talking about her. She gets more people to, sh- like, you know, show up at her shows, see her. She gets that coverage, you know? I don't necessarily see it as her being like, I'm going to betray Taylor. I see it as like, look at Skims. It's this big company, you know? I have a confession. I'm obsessed with Skims. See? Like, <laughs> I see, I, I have a confession too. I, I, I watch the Hulu, the Kardashians. Ugh, you know? I don't like, do that. Oh. No, it's good. It's, you have to start it. It's I I just like it's it's so hard for me because she looks so good. She looks like like people yeah. like I think Barry, her boyfriend, was like it Barbie. Yeah, he said like Barbie emoji. He said Barbie emoji, and then with the actual fire emoji, she looks like a yeah. literal doll. She yeah, looks so good. But I think that's for her brand. I think it fits her brand because she is like such a Barbie and like. Also, she's, she hasn't, beco- she's becoming like a like a sex icon. Yeah, a little and a little like mini baby pop star. I mean, she is a pop star, but, like, I think that that is... Yeah. She, this also isn't the first time she's been in, like, controversy, you know? Yeah. So. I do feel like it's her big moment because she is, like, the face of a big yeah. ad campaign. Yeah, I think this is... I mean, I know she was on Disney Channel, and that was, like, a lot of... Like, she was in front of a lot of eyes, but I also think that this is, like, maybe one of her bigger things. I just want God, Mother, to tell us, like, can we like Skims? Can we not? I th- I mean, I feel like she would have said something by now. Because, again, like, Lana wore it. Selena's worn it. We also, maybe even Taylor's worn it. She just hasn't posted about it. Yeah, this is very <laughs> hard. All right. Can we do a poll? Can we do a poll? What do you think? Should Sabrina be exiled forever? Or is this an acceptable behavior? I don't know. 
All right, moving on. This is very exciting. Yeah. Taylor Swift is a billionaire with a big fat B. She is worth $1.1 billion. And she is the first person in history to achieve that amount of success solely based on her songwriting mm -hmm. and live performances. That's what I was going to add. I was going to say it's not from other stuff. She, I know that people get pissed when you call Ta Taylor Swift self-made because yeah. her dad had money and helped her and whatever. But like nobody else has, has been the sole force in their career the way that Taylor has been writing yeah. all of their music producing all of their music everything that she has ever done has come from her Stuff, yeah and she even those deals like she is at its core a, a businesswoman yeah and like everything she does is like so I, I I'm trying to think of the right words because like she's just so good at her business and so good at her career that like I mean, it can be studied, and people have Taylor Swift classes, but, like, her business itself needs to be studied. Oh, I, like, I feel like if there's anyone after she's passed away, like, that we could cut open and look at their brain, we need I'm to look at Taylor, Taylor Swift's so. brain. Yeah. There's something in there that's, like, like pixie dust has been yeah. put on the and top of And especially, it. like, with all, like, that is also why people get, like, those Easter eggs, things like that. She plans those. Like, those are, like, why is everyone always constantly looking at things? You wonder why. It's because they're planned years, she, months. Like She has to be yeah. a wizard. She yeah. has to be. But this is what I found kind of insane is, like, Rihanna is, like, 1.4. Oh. Kim is, like, 1.7. I can't remember what Kim was. But, like, uh, Jay-Z, all of these people are 1 point something, 1 point something, 1 point something. Taylor's 1.1. Like that's she's not that far away from like the huge global brand of Skims. She's not that yeah. far away from from Rihanna's Fenty, and like also she's not that far. I mean, okay, so the top three are George Lucas five point five, Spielberg four point eight, and Michael Jordan three point two. The fact that Michael Jordan is only three point two and has Jordans, yeah. like I feel like Taylor, the way that she's moving, can get to two something in the next yeah. couple years well you brought up george lucas who you know famous director like star wars all that but also taylor's going into the movie like yeah. industry. so just wait until that happens i mean her writing with like her songwriting amazing and then she does the short film for all too well amazing just yeah. wait till she does a feature like that's where i'm excited like as a movie buff super excited to see what she's going to do there like Imagine if she. Oh my god, she could like she could like be the next like writer of Harry Potter or Star Wars. Yeah, same. Like, there's a, I mean, also as a reader, there's so many things that I'm like, you know, here's these partnerships you could like add up, you know, make those movies, turn those books into movies, and she, she would be, could like, be like bigger than more, have more money than Elon. Oh, I think I think she's on the track, and I she's think about she to take over the world. Yeah, she yeah, that is. I mean, she's she's already on top of the world, and she should stay there. You know? No, I feel like 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 she could really like. Mm -hmm. Like it could be like next God, level global, <laughs> global <laughs> domination. Yeah. The, but that is the good thing. The good thing with her is I personally think I think she is extremely humble and it hasn't like gone up there. And like that people argue with that, but I don't think that they're I think that she is humble. And I think that And she, she's like Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Like like what's the saying where they're like uh like the power? The with great with great power comes great response. Something like, yeah. And she's the perfect yeah. person to have all of this power because yeah. she's a good person. When I think you look at the like young people that have just that are coming up in this day and age too, they they look up to Taylor Swift. Like that's she's created so so many I, I don't want to say she's created people's careers because I don't want to take away like she has created that. people's but careers. But like I mean they they learned Olivia from Olivia Rodrigo's. Yeah, but also I mean, she I think was an inspiration. I don't think she created Olivia's career. I think that it was oh, just no, the inspiration. She, she has created Olivia Rodrigo's career. I I, I don't know. I it, uh, Taylor uh, walked so Olivia could. But stumble. also, I do think that Taylor is also learning from Olivia a little bit because if you if you look at it, Olivia's vinyls. She dropped a bunch of vinyls that had like secret songs on them, and now Taylor's doing all those variants. No, no, no. Taylor's been done that. No, but not with saying here are the songs that are going to be on there. Olivia surprise dropped and she was like, oh, she didn't say anything. Yeah. Did you not know that? Uh, when where I got have my... you been for, um, uh, uh, what's my favorite song on Midnight's? What's your, Hits Different? Hit, no, no, Hits Different. You're losing You're no, losing But me. this wasn't on vinyl. If you look at it, if you, like, I remember getting Guts and listening to Guts and finishing it. And then all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, 
a tracks there, a surprise tracks there. Okay. Mine was obsessed and I was lucky with that. Okay. But like that's that's pretty cool. That is something that I think Taylor has looked at it and she's like, oh, look how successful this is. I'm going to use that. Okay. You know, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. All right. Before the Olivia Rodrigo fans slice <laughs> my head off. Um, this is the most exciting thing because I am going to Coachella. And if she yeah. is not at the one I go to, I'm going to have to pony up. And pay. <laughs> like, at least I'm going to the first one. Yeah. So if she doesn't pop up at the first one, I can just pony up money and then also go to the second Coachella. Travis Kelsey said that he, let me just read you the statement. This is, yeah. I will die. I he, Travis Kelsey says, I love going to Coachella. I love live music in general. So you might see me pop over there at some point. I'm not sure if I'll go to a weekend one or two, or even if I have time knowing my schedule's filling up before we get back to football. But that means that Taylor and Travis are planned because every time they kind of be like, we might do it, they do it. And has ta I don't think Taylor's gone to like as public. Like by public, I mean like, with other people like it like yeah she's gone to grammys and things like that but like that's not like general public like you you kind of yeah, have to be invited, she would be so. going there for fun yeah but i she don't went, think she's ever done that Has she to? went to support calvin harris at his that's headlining true. set but that was also back when she wasn't as famous like she was fa she was famous but she wasn't at this global sensation that was after 1989 no i know now. but like she didn't have people like you know constantly like I don't know. Like it wasn't a, a safety as much of a safety concern because you look at it now. She always she has, has daddy to keep her safe. That's true. And how cute are the photos going to be of them dancing? Yeah. And kissing. To Lana. <laughs> at, to Lana. To like just her like going to Coachella and finally like after we got rid of this horrific person holding her down. She's going to be able to go to Coachella and just live her life mm -hmm. like a normal person and listen yeah, to live music and yeah. be a regular girly with her hot boyfriend enjoying the music at Coachella. Like, so, she's going to have a great time. We're going to get to see her outfits. Like, mm -hmm. this is a new era for Taylor. This is, yeah. This I feel like this is what she's always wanted. This is what she's always it. wanted. And yeah. now she gets to go with a boyfriend that actually likes her and gives yeah. a fuck about her. And, like, she can have a good time. But well, okay. So here's my question: Coachella is next weekend and the weekend after, right? Mm -hmm. So, if she, I feel like next weekend would be the weekend she would go because then Tortured Poets comes She's out. She's got a lot to do, and with she has so much. Poets. But also, imagine her just going and like, what if she? That's a surprise and, set. I floated that theory with Lana. I, I mean, I <laughs> think that for sure, like she, but she could do a surprise set and like, like, uh, uh like sing one of the an unreleased songs the first weekend. Yeah. Oh, or sing shot. a release song yeah. the second weekend. So or both. Like maybe she could go for the first weekend for fun, second weekend for surprise. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing too. Imagine like if she does it on I feel like it has to be unannounced because then like if it is announced that people like imagine the crowds. Like I, I personally have never been to Coachella, but I've seen the crowds and I'm like just imagine the ticket sales if it was announced. It would be chaos. Oh my gosh. She'd say is it's Coachella. Not, is it is it sold out? No, the Airbnb, this year hasn't, Airbnbs yeah. are okay, like yeah. super cheap where they're notoriously like insanely expensive. You can't get them. Mm -hmm. Now this year they're like like Groupons. So maybe I should just like book a ticket and, yeah. and be like, surprise. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I bet you could find one for pretty cheap online. Yeah. Especially day of. So we got a good rest of the show for you guys today. We've got a Travis update. We have a, apparently a confirmed guest in England. Um, we also have a spotted Daddy Trav has mm -hmm. been spotted in L.A. yet again. And a fun fact that I think will warm everybody's hearts. Plus a we hear you. All right. Let's get into our Travis update. Woo. Daddy. So a lot of people think that this will be Travis Kelsey's last season playing football. And he like he made it seem like he's going to keep playing until he can't. Yeah, this thing is going to be wrapping up because Daddy just landed a potentially a hundred million dollar budget film. So the Sun reported that a t Tinseltown bigwigs have been holding productive talks about an action movie starring Travis Kelsey and the gift that keeps on giving. Jason Kelsey yeah. says the insider plans. Um, are the says plans are in motion for the Kelsey brothers to work on a lighthearted action movie with many humorous moments and a tasty hundred million dollar budget. Their natural and funny personalities would be 
a, a great part of a movie project. This would be yeah, it would be an amazing movie. I mean, have you? It's for me personally what I think it's giving. Have you seen the other guys? You know, well, oh, a hundred. That's what I'm, is I think. All I, I think, think it's giving about. like it's gonna be or like like a, a Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum in the like twenty one twenty one Jump Street, Jump Street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. like totally something like that. Yeah, and like just the, like him going to that Buffalo Bills game. Yeah. Change Jason Kelsey's future because people saw him in like a funny, yeah, and crazy he, new light. And now that he's retired, he can. I mean, and the amount of people yeah. that like people talk about how acting is so hard. Listen, I was I did the whole thing for like you, you ten years. Like, yeah. Let me tell you something: being successful at it in a no name very difficult. Mm-hmm. The actual job of acting, it's so easy. It's not that hard to be coached, and miracles happen in post production, well, like. If people think that these guys who are talented, who do have personalities, who are going to be able to adjust, they could they could easily be. John Cena yeah. has become an actor. The Rock has become an actor. What's his face? Who they just had on uh, the Terminator? Arnold Schwarzenegger can be an actor. Anyone he, can okay, do it. Ar- Arnold, uh, Arnold, that's his career. Like, he's sure, good, yeah. But they came from like not being actors to just mm-hmm. being put into it and and being insanely successful. It's yeah. not that hard. But also, I think that they have the tools and the groundwork to, to be able to yeah. be very successful. Yeah, I mean, I think. But are are you saying that like? I mean, I feel like Travis and Jason like they they do have the tools to do that. But I also feel like. Again, I feel like they're natural at it. I feel they like you. You listen to their podcast; like they're naturally funny. Totally, I think that like no, that's what I mean. They have the tools yeah. built in. They have the foundation within them mm-hmm. to be very easily successful. Yeah, when I think also you get you get a good script, then that's that's all that they need. I that's think all that, they need. And also they're they're witty, like they're together. I think that they will make that natural you know? chemistry. Yeah, yeah. They could easily be huge movie stars. Yeah, like I without a doubt. Not like people are talking about. <laughs> no, literally, yeah. like people are talking about like how J- Jason and Travis could get into broadcasting. Yeah. Forget that; that's long gone. Yeah. They're going to be a list actors. I well, like, I mean, Jason like need like he doesn't need something because like you know fatherhood like that is excited but he needs for a job. Him. Yeah, I mean, but he's how many years has he been playing football? Like he's he has the money for it, you know. Yeah, but yeah. come on. Come on. That's, but the reality is, it's like, it's like the red carpet has been rolled. They're yeah. going to walk down the yellow brick road all the way to, to the Oscars, Taylor, baby. Yeah. And they're going to follow Taylor Swift all the way. Well, she needs that. I mean, she's their Dorothy. She just needs that. She's their thing. Dorothy. She collected the Tin and Man then, and the Scarecrow, yeah. and she's going to take their asses to Oz. <laughs> That's right, right? She did, she did that in Karma. You know, they should have just done that in the Karma music video. <laughs> Full bump. <laughs> She's a bigger mastermind yeah, than anyone can imagine. Eggs. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. Um, this is very cute. So Travis went on and did an ET interview um, with a fabulous lady. Um, he did an eight-minute interview because he's promoting his Kelsey Jam coming up. But they, I, I love the way that Travis isn't afraid to talk about Taylor and does it in a way that's very classy, yeah. very like... Um, holding her up on a pedestal. I mean, she hasn't she hasn't had that in the past. Yeah. yeah, and like he's not afraid of it, which we've said this a million times, but like every single time we see him do it, it's just chef's kiss. Yeah. Um, I liked that she asked him if basically his music has changed or like she he's had an impact on her, she's had an impact on him, vice versa. And I like that he said that um, he was like kind of surprised a- and intrigued by the way that she listens to music like mm-hmm. I, I, how does she listen to music that would be like well and i want to know what, what else she's listening it, like because i think she listens to some of her music obviously she has to but like what do you think like if she made a playlist what do you think's on that like her real playlist yeah and what do you what do you want on that because i have so i have some songs that i'm like she needs to listen to these artists she needs to like meet these are you know mm-hmm. so that there's a lot of but, collabs oh, that how I does what what's that mean like, yeah and I wish she would have followed up, like, the way that she listens to music. Like, mm-hmm. like I mean, like, she obviously, like, like people talk about how, like, actors watch movies in a different way. Like, like yeah. if you're so familiar with the profession, like, you have an inside. It goes back to her being, like, this businesswoman of, like, 
the way that she sees music. I think she sees it in a different way. And like even listening to songs, I think she like she's inspired by the songwriting. I think she sees it that way. And she has done that with with films too. She's watched movies and she's made songs based off them. Yeah. Um. And so that's to just like I don't know. I like watch. It sounds weird, but like watch her listening to music. Like see see her vision come to life. Like that would be so. That's something that like a documentary would be great on. So maybe maybe oh, it's in the works. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, there there were there were cameras at the Eras Tour premiere. I would kill for a documentary on the so, way she makes music. Yeah, like just a really in depth. Oh, yeah. Um, I also liked that he said that um the woman asking him was like, oh, what's on your game day yeah. playlist? And he didn't mention Taylor Swift, and she mm-hmm. called him on it. But he had a good response. He goes, "That's on my everyday playlist, mm-hmm. baby." Yeah, I think I think he had a good response because also like that. I think that's what they want. They they. They want to ask about Taylor, which they did it in a good way. But at the same time, like he he had a good response. This, I'm not going to lie. Like I watched this whole eight minute interview and it just made me so sad yeah. because like truthfully, like I don't think we found a, a, I, and I hope and I don't think we will find a singular bad thing about Travis Kelsey. But this man has set the bar so high mm-hmm. and and like I don't think that there could possibly be very many men like Travis Kelsey yeah. that it's just like well the the thing that I like about him too is there you the, there has been flaws that he has addressed and he's addre- I feel like he's addressed it but he does it in a perfect way exactly yeah like, and I feel like that he's not based on the people in the in, in Taylor's past they haven't really addressed things or you know talked about things that they should have and he he hits it head on and that's where I like that's that's what she needs and he is I also think that he's someone that is able to not be intimidated by her success and almost like, like you said, put her on a pedestal. I like, literally call him the perfect man. Yeah. That's all. I, I think that they, I think they're good together. Yeah. He's, no, he's the perfect man. They are her, her one love, you know, love song. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is exciting. A little tour talk. Tour talk. For update. Yeah. You know. Uh, we're gonna talk about the tour. Yeah. No. Um, so the t- her tour will be revving up pretty soon. Um, we're almost a month away from her going to Paris now. Um, I do love that we have a confirmation that Travis will continue to support her on tour. Very specifically, my ass is going to be getting tickets to it's Wembley, Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Just to see, yeah. She's apparently going. I feel like eight I mean, shows in Wembley. I didn't know she was doing eight shows in Wembley Stadium. That makes sense because isn't that, that's. Wembley is like the SoFi of yeah. It's got to yeah. be a new record. Yeah. Well, and also, I wonder because Ed's played there a lot. I actually I saw Ed there. And it was yeah, it was great. Cool. Yeah. You know, big, massive. Don't care about Ed. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ed Sheeran. He's like randomly like, uh, you know, Lana Del Rey's played there. Well, Ed. Sheeran, I mean, Ed Sheeran is like coming for her. Like not coming for her, but like. With SoFi Stadium, Ed Sheeran held the the record there. He did. Yeah, for a matter. Well, but it's also because his was all general. Oh, that's right. Floor. So but if she, she did general six shows. Yeah, but he also uh, he only put. Yeah, right. He only yeah. Put yeah. But that like Wembley is that that's where he's like the most successful. So oh. it'll be interesting to see if Taylor outsells. And I love that he was like like it's gonna be. Oh, anyway, yeah. all right. That's a quick. We need that's a quick tour update. All right. Yeah. Uh, Spotted. This is actually not only Spotted, but kind of breaking news. Mm -hmm. Travis Kelsey does not work out with Taylor Swift at Dog Pound. Yeah, I mean, I I personally was like, I mean, it makes sense that they could work out together, but also at that same time, working out too is like very therapeutic. So I kind of feel like... You need your individual time. Yeah, well, because also she has her own regimen for tour. Yeah. And he's, you know, he needs Different. to do his very, like, I don't see, I feel like there's no similarities in their workout, you know? Right. There were a lot of reports saying that they work out together. Mm-hmm. And not only do they not work out together, they don't even work out in the same the gym. Same gym. Oh. They don't even work out in the same city. She works yeah. out in West Hollywood at Dog Pound. He works out with Lawrence NG. At legendary performance in Beverly Hills, which Mm. I, if you don't know, obviously, am a field reporter. Mm. Um, I saw this video online and I was like, holy sh... I think I know where this is. It's where Kendall Jenner works out, Mm -hmm. which is interesting. A little, yeah. Chloe, I'm pretty sure, works out there too, but Kendall definitely works out there. Um, And 
Dog Pound is very hard to get celebrities. Isn't um, it like very locked down? Like it's very locked down. Yeah. Dog Pound is very locked down. This place is a freaking fortress mm. comparatively. So like it's there's no sign. Like Dog Pound is a sign out front. It's mm. in the small street on Little Santa Monica and Beverly Hills, and it's just this gray like. I have a photo of this, by the way. Wild. Um, it's this gray, uh, like like built like almost like concrete slab. Like. No, mm. like a like a metal gate kind of thing that uh-huh. opens and you drive down and into the gym where he you saw him like running up. Yeah, so that's where I was like, is that the gym or the parking lot? That's like, well, you like drive off the street okay. and down into that, and then you drive into yeah. the gym. What's but, that workout like that? But it, I'm like shocked. Like he goes to a place that's even more locked down than Taylor Swift. But I feel like, do, do I feel like maybe he's doing that because you know yeah. Bahamas. He has to work out like a, after the Bahamas thing. You know. Yeah. I, well, he's got to keep. He's got to get started. He's got to keep. Yeah. Cause, it, it's a. It's football season's coming yeah. quick. But I'm just like sh- like shocked. Like, man. I they're wonder- different cities. Yeah. They're not not together. Well, it's like the the reality is it's like. A ten minute drive from one to yeah, the other, sure. but still. I wonder if they like schedule like, okay, you're gonna go work out. I'm gonna go work out, or like wh- how that works. Yeah, you know? it's just because they, they also only the get a, the certain amount of time together. Like right now, they both have they're both on break, so like I think that that that's time that they they could spend together. But you know. yeah, yeah, it's I literally dro- I saw that and I go, I know where this is, and I drove straight there, and okay, I was I'm like, yeah. this is an impossible shot. For me. <laughs> um, all right. So this is really my favorite thing. Fun fact of the day. Our fun fact of the day is about Amos Heller and Paul Sedoti. So there is this TikTok, if we could show it. This, it shall stand by me forever. The point of the video is somebody like captioned it basically the way that Amos Heller is looking at Taylor and it's when they're playing Long Live Mm -hmm. and Long Live is all about like, like if you stand by me, please stand by me forever. Yeah. If God forbid fate should step in, please tell him my name. And like just the way is essentially about how her band and her fans have been so supportive of her for so long. Well, specifically Amos Heller and Paul Sedoti, Mm -hmm. they have been with her since... 2007 yeah for almost yeah that's almost the entirety of her career almost yeah. the entirety of her career yeah. 17 years yeah i think it is essentially the entirety of her career yeah and that's also why like her break now like paul she's uh, on break right now yeah she's on break right now from tour and i think that like personally i think that paul was gonna like take a break from it because he was having a kid and so oh. i think taylor was like oh i'll just do a break there because he's they've never not played together. She did yeah. the break so that he could go on That's paternity? what I think. I mean it's not confirmed but I, that's what I believe because if you look at the timeline like it it adds up. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. And she she's so yeah. considerate. And like to not have Paul Sedoti on tour. It wouldn't it wouldn't be the same. It would not be the tour. Cuz that's also what during like the fearless like the set like that's Yeah. Very- I love that she ha- has specific moments on the Airs tour mm-hmm. where she has the band come out and play mm-hmm. with her and it's it's not just a celebration of that era and that music. It's a celebration of, of Amos and yeah. Paul mm-hmm. and them being with them for that, like. The entire, yeah. The, it's yeah. so special. I don't know that there's anyone that's had that, yeah. somebody on tour for their entire career the way that Amos and Paul have. And I think that also speaks to, to like, her relationships with them. Like, she sees them as family. And as that's family. where also, like, it's just such a nice relationship. It's oh, it's refreshing to see, you know. And they're also stars in the in the Swifty community. Mm-hmm. Like like I've been to so many tours where I see Paul roaming mm-hmm. around like taking pictures with fans and there'll be like a line just for people to get a photo with Paul. Like they go out and interact with fans, which Yeah, a lot of the people I think the the dancers do that too and I think her uh singers too, like it's, her backup it's backup vocals. Really vocals, kind so. of them to do that. Yeah. It's special. Yeah. It's it's something that I don't think we get at another tour. No, yeah. it's really considerate and special. Um, that was our fun fact. That's very heartwarming. Yeah. You love it? Yeah, I mean it's very it's very happy. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have our We Hear You segment. We hear you. Um, but this one, usually people disagree with me and people are agreeing with me. Oh really? With Billy Eilish. So we talked okay. about Billy now. 
with she, the vinyls. Yeah. The vinyl, apparently. Vinyl. Vinyl, vinyl is, pl- thank you to that person. Vinyl is already mm-hmm. plural, so we don't have to say vinyls. Shout out to you. Uh, we do hear you. Um, but uh, I liked that somebody said, Billy should have said she would no longer issue multiples and that she hoped others in the industry would follow suit instead of her mm-hmm. saying that, like, like there's certain uh, musicians that put out yeah. so many, it's just for for numbers and clicks and sales and money. And that would have been, I think, the right thing to do is say, hey, I'm, I see that this is a problem. Yeah. I see that I do it. I'm not going to do it. And I hope that you also follow me as I trailblaze this new... Yeah, well, also with Billy, too, I think it was, like, the way that it was phrased, too. Because also fans of, like, Billy stands were saying that all of her stuff is, like, recyclable. Yeah. So, like, it, and which, I, good for but, her. But and she still does. She puts out multiple she colors, still puts multiple, multiple vinyls. Yeah. So her point is almost moot. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this comment came from Mara Mash, 3196. Shout out to you. I think that was a really... Mm-hmm. A great way of yeah. of saying it and explaining it is like she should have been like, "Hey, I see a problem. I'm going to stop. Yeah, cut off the head and do. It. I think yeah, I and think set that, an example. I think that it was a little. I think it was phrased poorly. And also, like, I feel bad because it's like she almost was like didn't know it was going to blow up. But it's also like you're Billie Eilish. Like you know it's going to blow up. Obviously. So that's where it's like when she posted that statement that was like, oh well. I didn't really mean it, but it's like, okay, you meant it, but you should have phrased it differently. You know you have a platform. There's so many people. You didn't mean at. to get the backlash. Yeah, she didn't want the backlash. She didn't want the heat. That's it. Yeah. Well said, Mara Mash. Well said. Billy? Mara Mash has some good insight. <laughs> okay. Um, that's our show yeah. for the day. Yeah. Uh, if you want to watch us um, instead of just listen, we are on YouTube. You can check out our cool set. Um, you can listen to us on Apple, on Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave a comment. We do pay attention to them. We do um, take your insight into consideration. We listen to you um, just as much as you listen to us. This is a group effort here. We're all learning and living and loving and laughing together. Um, bye. Yeah.